Chase Lee Hockey with the Blue Futon, and we got a movie in the digital world called KGF Chapter 1. The only reason I was watching this is because I was scrolling through my local movie theater, and Chapter 2 was out. I'm like, what? Another Indian movie? But you know what? Let's check out Chapter 1 and see if Chapter 1 is worth reading this fictional hero's story. <laughs> So KGF, what's it about? Chapter 1. Very simple premise. There's a boy. He wants the world. He wants to please his mom. But unfortunately, his mom passed away when he is a young age. And now he's going for the world. He wants to get this gold for his mother. And how he's going to do it? He's going to take over this piece of land in India called KGF. And the people owning it right now is a bunch of politicians and corrupt people that are enslaving a bunch of Indians to get the gold out of the mines. Is he going to take over this land? Is he going to become one of these politicians, one of these corrupt people? Let's find out. So even though I just gave you the synopsis for Chapter 1, that's kind of the whole story for Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Chapter 1 more focuses on him as a kid and him slowly making it through the ranks to get to KGF and becoming the main mayor, if you want to put it, for this piece of land. That like Chapter 1. I thought Chapter 1 was a pretty good movie. There were some faults, though, in my opinion. So let's go with the positives of the movie. I think when the action is there, it's pretty well shot and pretty graphic on some levels. You could tell it's a little bit cartoony in this one, but I still enjoy it for what it was going for. The editing. Some people are going to hate the frantic editing or some people are going to like it. I did not like it when I first saw the movie because it was like just going everywhere. I mean, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, okay, what is happening? But with the two hour plus runtime, I think it actually helps it with making the time feel like it's a lot quicker than it is because I was like, oh shit, two hours and 35 minutes just went past by. So I was like, okay, maybe it was that frantic editing that actually helped make it that way. And also the story. I thought the story was very interesting of what it was going for because I didn't know it was going to go, you know, this person trying to tell the story of a banned book about someone trying to get rid of this hero from the whole history of India. So I thought that was pretty cool in going into that realm of what is happening. And also finally, what I liked about the story is the crisp storytelling. Some people might not like it because I won't lie either. Kind of with the editing, it took me a minute to understand what was happening with this movie. There are a lot, a lot of characters at play when you're watching this movie. So you're like, okay, who's that person? That person, who's that female who's rarely in the chapter one, who's more predominantly in chapter two. So there are a lot of characters at play. Like I said in my first reaction for Chapter 2, this could be considered gangs of India or gangs slash politicians of India because this is all about people taking different plots of land in India and deciding who gets what, what politicians control what, what gangs control what, West Coast, East Coast, Central. This random Viking character, like I said, doesn't show up till Chapter 2. But Chapter 1 has a lot of story with it and you're trying to figure out what is going on with Chapter 1. So what I didn't like about the movie, I like I said, kind of like with some of the movies, the singing is just in the weirdest spots, in my opinion, what you're trying to portray with the storytelling. And this dance sequence, if you want to put it that way, is in the beginning. It kind of makes sense, and they kind of choreograph it to be with a fight scene. I think that is fun. But like I said, I'm going to compare this to RRR, because I really can't compare this to Beast, because I think Beast is just drastically worse in both of these movies. But at least with RRR, it flushes perfectly with why the dancing is in there. So you're like, okay, I can see this being part of the story. This, not so much, but it's not as bad as Beast, though. Also, like I guess the people might be considered the length. Just too much going on in this movie. There is a lot going on in this movie. So that could also be a negative. Like I said, the negatives could also be a positive with this movie. The editing, the story, and just everything happening is just very drastic. And you kind of might be confused what is going on. But overall, KGF Chapter 1 is a solid movie. I enjoyed it. It is a story that I was like entertained of like even though this is kind of like a book burning kind of type of movie of like do we want to burn the past and who is actually wanting to figure out this past and like say screw you what's the past of what really happened in this country because what we're doing with right now seems like a lot of countries are wanting to get rid of its history. I know the Nazis in Germany, yeah, they're trying to get rid of all the buildings and kind of like if you say that we're Nazis, we're going to do all that stuff. So there's a lot of countries who are trying to get rid of their history. But the problem is history is history. You can't erase the past. So I hate to say embrace it, but you know what? This shit sucked what we did. 
But you know what? This is how we're going to fix it. But like I said, overall, Chapter 1, it's a solid movie. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yes, some editing did confuse me. And some of the story was just out there. And I guess as being in America, I was just like, what is happening? There are a lot of characters that play around this, like, King Arthur round table. And I was like, could we take a couple of characters out? But I enjoyed Chapter 1 for what it was. So, KGF Chapter 1 will receive a 3.5. At five or food times, it goes at 70%. So, see the critics new scores gave this one. KGF chapter one is 71% with the critics, with seven of them. Audience score 89% with over 500 and no critic consensus. So, it looks like chapter one, everyone enjoyed it for what it was a story that's going to become chapter two. So, do you agree with my 70? The 71 or the 89? Chase back with the blue food time. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Blue Town Topia. You blue Tonys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace and love. Peace and love. And let's see how chapter two is going to play out. Is there going to be a chapter three? Let's find out.